What's up everybody, it's Sonic Wolf, and today we're gonna play Sonic Colors. This video is going to be something a little bit special here, because my previous LPs I would always have a bonus feature, but for Sonic Colors it's going to be a lot more than that, because I'm going to show you all the S ranks and all the red rings in each of those planets specifically. So we're going to begin with the Tropical Resort. Now keep this in mind, it's been so long since I did a commentary video on this main channel. And I actually recorded the footage before I did commentary, so just keep that in mind. So with all this out of the way, let's get started with this whole video in 3, 2, 1, GO! Okay, so the first red ring is actually on this railing. Now, there are a couple of strategies to get it, but one of the easiest ones, I would say, is if you go against that wall on that ledge, you walk up to it, do a double jump, and then do a dash attack, and then you can go on the railing. It's pretty easy enough. The second red ring is roughly at the halfway point where you need a drill, and it's actually above the balloons. Now the third red ring is actually below the railing where the balloons are, directly in the middle. So red ring number four is very difficult to get because you need to have drill required and you need to drill around the mines. Be careful not to get hit and the red ring will appear. So red ring number five in act one is very easy. You just go on the railing and jump on the rainbow ring and that's pretty much it. Now getting an S rank on this one is really difficult because you need a combination of a high amount of rings, time, and also a high amount of score points. So getting the color bonuses as fast as possible and not get hit too many times is the best way to do it. This took like about roughly five or six attempts. So red ring number one is where you need drill and you have to go here. Now, if you can't reach it, you can actually do a double jump and you have to wall jump. It's very tricky, but you can get the hang of it. So after you escaped on the ground, the second red ring is on the platform. So red ring number three is right above the fans. So red ring number four is very difficult to get because you need drill for this. You want to drill to the bottom pipe. And you want to drill around these rock caterpillars, whatever they are. If you miss one on that time period, then you will fail and you have to start all over again. The gold one on the third ring is the one with the red ring, but you have to destroy all of them as quick as possible. The last red ring is at the most jerkish place of all, at the end of the stage. It's right behind the bench, which is pretty easy to miss. The S rank in this one, it's not too bad, but you need to have a lot of color bonuses for drill. The S rank on Act 2, it's a little bit tricky, but it's not too bad, as long as you keep the color bonuses going, for drill mostly specifically. Okay, so Act 3 of the Tropical Resort. The first red ring is on the right side that you attack the enemy, and then you grab onto this pulley, and that's how you can get the first red ring. The second one is right below the platform at the very back, which is where the second red ring is. Now, red ring number three and four, both of them require drill, and it's very understandably the most difficult ones and the hardest to find. So all you have to do is you have to use drill and you have to move a little bit farther to the right, because all you need to look for is that extra gap. That's gonna save you from dying underground. Now once you're in that spot, you want to drill to the left a little until you can find a pipe. That's where the third red ring is, or fourth. Go back to that area and drill right below because that's where you can go to the next section. And then you want to carefully drill underneath that path because that's where the next red ring is. The second red ring is at the very end on 2D platforming. So you want to go on this platform, and you want to go to the left, you have to get your timing right. Once there, you jump on this platform, and that's where the red ring is. This took me like about 4 attempts to get an S rank. I don't know why I'm struggling with that stage, because 
I keep on dying underground, and it's very annoying. Okay, so Act 4 is one of the shorter ones, but getting the red rings, it doesn't feel very short. The first one is self-explanatory, it's pretty easy to get. The next three red rings, you need drill for it. So you want to get Frenzy, and you want to munch the hell out of these enemies, until you can get roughly two red rings, because that's where they are. So red ring number four is at this very specific spot, so you want to be careful not to get hit. And finally, the last red ring for Act 4 is on this railing. Okay, so Act 5 I would say is one of the easier ones to get a whole bunch of red rings. So the first one you needed spikes, and you want to use the spike power to go across the stage. Because the first red ring is only spikes that you need, the rest of them are just lasers. So the second red ring is you need laser on this segment. And once you're here, you want to position the laser on red ring number 3. So red ring number 3 is right underneath the balloons. The two last ones is you want to use laser and activate it at just the right time. So that's red ring number 4. And do not move the control stick. The fifth one is at the very end. Now, Act 6 is only 2D platforms. There is only four that you can get, but one of them you needed spikes. So, they're pretty easy to get. So, there's red ring number 1. There's red ring number 2. There's red ring number 3. The fourth one is you needed spikes, and you want to go all the way down go across the path, and that's where the fourth one is. The fifth one, you can actually get it with spikes, but it is really difficult to control because it is very, very stiff. And finally, there's the boss, the Rotatatron, or the big boy! Now, there is a bit of a trick that you can actually go at him without going on the platforms. If you run up on the edge and then jump, you can actually jump a little bit higher and reach to the center. So you want to get laser and attack him as quick as possible. And with all of that, you get a very easy S rank. So overall, that took about 43 minutes in recording. I have to take about 2 minutes of break because I have to change batteries to the second GameCube controller. And yes, for those of you that are wondering, I actually got two GameCube controllers that are both wireless. One of them I had for many years, and the other I just bought last week at the time of this commentary recording. I was so glad that I did commentary over the footage, because I cannot handle the commentary of 43 minutes of pure torture. And oh, we have only just got started here. Because in the next episode, we are going to Sweet Mountain. And this is actually going to be a little tricky to get. Because there are seven wisps, and there are a lot of red rings that we haven't discovered yet. So I'll see you guys there.